Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, we're so screwed. No, we're not. No, we're not. Come on. Push through it. Push through it. Push through it. Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on Ark Survival Evolved. Patch 254 dropped today, and in this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Baryonyx. Now, there's actually, or there should be one, right underneath me. Let's see. Yep, right, right about there. So these dinosaurs are the ones that are going to be able to handle both land and water relatively well. Oh, did you see that? It went after my Quetzal. Now, these guys aren't supposed to bother with land creatures, which, you know, I, Quetzal, I would consider, consider an air creature. Let's see if it'll bother with me. Are you, are you, oh, oh, yeah, you don't, you don't like my Quetzal. Yo, 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 rude. That's, that's not okay. Well, I actually wanted to kill it anyway, just to see what it drops. So, what are you gonna give me? You gonna give me Prime, or you just gonna give me raw meat? Hey, Capro, get away. This is my kill. Oh, gosh, don't grab me off my Quetzal, please. Oh, God. All right, killed a Baryonyx. All I got was hide and raw meat, so I'm going to assume that's all you get. Because I would have at least gotten one piece of Prime, I believe, if it were to drop Prime. So, let's go ahead and find one to tame. I've actually seen them pretty much everywhere that there's water on the map. Not so much. Oh, wait, there's another one right over there. However, you see, it was attacking pretty much everything. So... I guess it just, it is aggressive overall in nature. Oh, whoa, that was a quick Gallimimus. You guys see that? Okay, where is the little fella? Right there. Will you stop moving? All right, I'm just gonna pick you up. Dear Lord, what level are you? That's a terror bird. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. There we go, gotcha, you're mine now. And which direction is home? That's a tree that we're about to fly into. Okay, so we're gonna head home, drop this guy in our taming pen and then knock it out. Because I'm assuming that's how we're going to be tame it. But, as I was saying, these guys are only supposed to be aggressive towards water creatures. Uh, but, turns out they don't like me either. Go figure. Alright, you guys. I will be back once we are at home. Okay, so we're home. Let's go ahead and drop the guy into here. Boom. Oh, one shot. Nice, Alexis. Nice, nice. Now my Quetzal's head stuck in a rock. Okay, so we will lend you. I've got some prime meat on my Quetzal already. Let's check the expiration just to make sure that it's... Ooh, well, we might have to go get some more meat once this guy's knocked out. Well, anyway, let's just go ahead and quickly oh, knock it out. Was you really going to hang your head out there like that, bud? I guess so. You look silly. Boom, baby. Yeah, now you mad. Ooh, that did some damage, though. Ooh, be careful. Let's go up here. Where's your butt? Right there. Nice. Got him. I actually don't know if this is a she or a he. Oh, oh. I was there for a second, but I didn't get a chance to read it. And it's down. Okay. So what do we got here? A wild female Perionics level 6. Of course I grabbed the level 6. I think I killed like a level 9. All right. So as... Oh, oh. Let's, let's put the prime on it real quick. If it's not spoiled, it's probably spoiled. Spoiled. No, no, no. Four seconds. Four seconds. What are you and me now? Yeah, and it's all gone. All right. Well... Let's check on its twerk board before we go. It didn't seem to be dropping fast. No, so it's not dropping fast at all, which is very, very nice. Because for a while there, there was those string of dinos that the torpor was just dropping like stupid fast. But we're going to close the door just in case it decides to wake up while we're gone. Because that would be bad. And it would probably do some damage to my dinosaur. So I'm going to go get some um, prime meat. And then when I get back, we will feed it. And then we will do the land water tests. And if I find a higher level one while I'm down here, I'll go ahead and grab that and bring it back up. Because that was a level six. So it'll probably team out of what? Like level 13, if I'm doing my math correctly? I don't know. They've changed all the algorithms and math and stuff since the last time I've known. So I'm probably wrong. But anyway, going to get the prime. Maybe spot a higher level one. And then uh, if not, we'll just we'll play around with the six and we'll be good. All right, you guys. Be right back. Okay, so I did not see any more, and I felt I felt I was going a little too far out. It made me uncomfortable because I didn't want it to like wake up and everything while I was gone. Um, but I did get some prime, so nom nom nom. And obviously, once the kibble is found out, I will leave it in a comment what the kibble is. I'm gonna guess maybe like Theron's and Osaurus egg or something like that. So we'll see if I'm accurate or not. You you're not even ready to take a bite yet, but let's see how much it'll tame up with just one piece of prime meat. Oh wait, you know what? These guys might actually take fish meat. 
now that I think about it. Yeah. That's right, because these, these guys are the fish that they heal better. Or they're not the fish. They're the dino that heal better when they have fish food. So you know what? We're going to go back down there and get us some freaking fish meat. Oh, yes. I totally forgot about that till now. All right. Uh, what dinosaur? We'll, we'll take our... I don't know why I went out on my Quetzal. It's so slow. All right, let's go. Let's go get us some fish meat. Oh my gosh, so this is Gallimimus was behind me <laughs> swimming while I was in the water and I thought it was a raptor coming after me. It scared the crap out of me, but it's Gallimimus. So I've got a good amount of some fish meat, so let's fly back up. I don't have any raw prime fish meat, but we're on a time crunch. Just don't want a, a dino to wake up, so let's get home. <laughs> Right, let's put the fish meat on. Not very bright of me to leave the door open, is it, Alexis? Jeez, okay. And now, fish meat. You gonna eat that? And you did, right? Yes, it did! Woohoo! Alright, so each stack is of 20, correct? So, it's eaten five so far. Six. And seven. Where are you at in the taming bar? Pretty close! Still going up! Oh, yeah. Ooh, it starved pretty quickly. So that's nice. Yes! All right, it took 13. Oh, well, it's still eating. But it looks like it took about 12 or 13 meat at level 6. It came out at level 8. Where was I getting my math from earlier? I don't know. I don't know. Don't don't judge me. We're actually going to call her Baryonyx. Hmm. How about Bartha? Yep. Hey, Bartha, how you doing, little lady? All right, come out here and let me get a good look at you. You're not going to be able to get out of that door, are you? Are you going to be smart enough to get out of the door? Are you? No? Okay, so let's get our saddle made, actually, before we get her out of there. So, Barry Onyx. 24 Ingram points. Not too expensive. Let's... I was assuming in the smithy. I didn't even bother to read because I'm just assuming. Let's get into here. And then type in Barry Onyx. We need 225 hide, 350 fiber, and two and 25 metal. All right. Apparently, I don't have hide and fiber. I definitely know I have fiber in here. Fiber, fiber. Hide, on the other hand. I think I should have some on my Quetzal. You got some hide for me? Where are you flying around at? Okay, it's okay to land, though. There you go. All right, give me your hide. Plenty of hide. Hide and hide. Perfect. All right, let's go back in and actually make it now. And we'll search Barry again, if I can spell. There we go. Crafting. Crafting. Equip a Barry Onyx with this to ride it. Of course. I don't want that. We'll give you this. How about that? Fair, sh fair exchange. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Snaily. Close the door. Ah, I lock myself in a lot. I'm so used to the auto doors on S+. Plus. Oh. All right, Bartha. Your saddle on ya. And let's get you out of here. Ah, ah, there you go. So, I would compare this in size to a Carno. It's like a land Spino. Oh my gosh, I love watching the meat. Look at that. Yes. All right, how about where it stats? Four, 440 health. That sucks. Uh, 325 weight. That's actually quite impressive. 135 melee, 120 movement speed. It was pretty fast just walking around on it. I wasn't running. So right now we will go ahead and boost your health. I feel like that's always most important. And I'm going to go grab Zoe. And we're going to take Barry out to a safer place in the water. Just because she's not very high level. And yeah, I'm calling her Barry short for Bartha. I know it doesn't make much sense. Uh, and we're going to test this puppy out. So I will be right back. Okay, so we are about here on the map, and this area is good because it's relatively safe from, like, the big dangerous predators, and, uh, there's, there's fish here in the water, so we'll be able to test this. Alright, what do we want to pump on you now? I think we'll still pump health for just a little bit. Oh, you're excited about that, aren't you? Okay, so let's go ahead and test its land. So this is walking, and here's running, and here's it demolishing a Trudon. How about this? How are we doing? A level two. Oh, that's a Pego Mastox. Trudon, they're all tiny. Whatever. I just eat it. Eat it. 
I've been robbed of my water jar. Oh, crap, I forgot about those little jer jerks. You took my scuba tank? Oh, man. That was so dumb. Alexis, what were you thinking? You weren't apparently. Look at her walking away with the, my bag. Wait, if I kill it, can I get it back? Did I get it back? I did, yes. Okay. Wait, did I? No. It looked like it said you got a scuba jar. Why, when you kill them, do you not get a bag with your stuff in it? Anyway, that's not what this is about. So, on land, this seems to be a pretty decent dinosaur. It is only, what, level 10 now? So, let's do a little bit more into health. Ideally, I'd like to get over a thousand. But we should also pump melee. But now let's go underwater. And let's see if it's like the Sarko in that it does not use stamina when underwater. Or if it's like the... Um, wh what was the time? Oh, is that a... What is that? What are you? Is that a Megalodon right there? Oh, yes it is. Oh, jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Kill the fish, kill the fish, kill the fish. Okay. I believe it's the Caprusucos that uses stamina underwater. Um... So, we'll, we'll check that out when I get away from the shark. Okay. So, here we are. Underwater. Are we utilizing stamina? It looks like it does use stamina. Alright. So, that bums me out because I like the fact that with the shark go... Ooh. You don't have to worry about losing your stamina. Ooh. How are we going to go up against this eel? Ooh. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Oh, so many eels. Oh, this is so bad. Get out of here. Get out of here. Woo. But look how quick I am, though. Heh <laughs> Suckers. You can't get me. Overall, though, I do have to say, I think it's a pretty solid mount. I would like to use this on my center map on Arcadia server. Oh, I kill! I don't want to kill a little Lystrosaur uh, because I am on an island, and I would like to be able to get from like my island to the mainland. Um, not and maybe not with flying because when I have this guy with me, I can get food too. In the meantime, let's see if you get. Do you get any like trees? You knock down trees or anything? Okay, you just knock it down, but you don't get anything. Okay. So let's go ahead and swim back over there. Oh, there's a jump. Oh, that's a nice jump. It's got a nice little jump. So, to summarize real quick, it uses stamina when swimming underwater, but it's got a nice look at that. Look at that elongated body we got going on there. And you guys saw that I had a scuba tank. It was because, well, I wanted it to be able to last longer underwater with my dinosaur uh, and not die, but uh, as it were. Um, I got it stolen from me by little jerks. Okay, so what happens when it runs out of stamina underwater, I wonder? Because it doesn't it doesn't actually have an oxygen tank. Do you guys see that? Let's not go close to the megalodon though. Oh, but we are. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, we're so screwed. No, we're not. No, we're not. Come on, push through it. Push through it. Push through it. Ugh! Come on. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, we made it. We made it. So, do we force feed it raw fish meat to heal it? That's right, because when it eats fish meat, it heals a lot better. There we go. Let's go ahead and feed it raw meat and see what happens. Yeah, it didn't look like a whole lot there, huh? But then that raw fish meat, though. Feeding it lots of raw fish meat. And we'll go ahead and up its melee. So, at level 14, I think she's pretty solid overall. I, I do like the fact that they don't use oxygen underwater, so you don't have to worry about that. But the stamina kind of bums me out, like I said. Uh, it's not an underwater mount that you would go super deep with because you would risk losing your stamina and having uh, some mantas and a megalodon after you. So you don't want to do that. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. It's got a nice little jump. They are like, I like the colors on that look. That's like tan and white and like, I would say like a slate gray with some like blue undertones. How are we gonna do, how are we gonna fare against compies, huh? Let's let them all come over and start to attack. Bring it on, jerks. You think I'm your mama? You don't wanna eat me? Well, I'm gonna eat you. Yes. Everything is relatively low level. So I feel like we're just way overpowered, but I think if you have a high level one and everything's scaled, they're going to be fine. So I would definitely actually use this dinosaur, like I said, on the center map on Arcadia. Um, that way I can travel from land between my island and the other islands and go out for food without having to fly. Because I think they're a lot of fun. Um, and they ride pretty smooth. And that that uh, swimming underwater, though, is actually it's quite nice. And it's a lot of fun. And I know that's a weird thing to say about swimming. But, like, look at that. Just check that out. Like, it's just really sleek, I think. 
Like, when you picture a car, you're like, oh, it's got a sleek body. Well, this guy's got a sleek body when it spins. Is that weird? I don't know. But anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for our video here on the Baryonyx. Let me know what you think of it, if you would utilize it, or if you think it's just another dinosaur that you would have in your farm just to have, or uh, you would uh, really like it. So, oh, what you doing? Eating? You having a snack? All right, you guys, if you like the video, please leave a comment or a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I put out a new video, and I will talk to you later. Bye!